Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to solve questions quickly without reading the whole stimulus. Now, you should know fairly well if you've set the CAMSAT that the GAMSAT section three is information overload, and often that is text. So we're going to talk a little bit about some strategies to get around um, questions that have a lot of text. Okay. Now I'm going to get you to open up to a particular question. Uh, so please open your uh, copy of the Acer sample questions, and I'll get you to look specifically at question 34. If you need to pause the video, uh, you can do so now. But the question should be referring to the stimulus that's talking about brush turkeys and other birds, that sort of thing. Okay. So how can you solve questions quickly without having to read everything? Now, in this question, if you had to read everything, by the way, um, I did a word count. It's 384 words. Okay, 384 words. This is going to take you about one and a half minutes. Okay. One and a half minutes to read the text. That doesn't actually mean you're going to digest it on the very first read either. And also that is not including time to solve any of the problems. So one and a half minutes is a lot of time in the GAMSAT. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So if you've seen any of my videos, you'll know that I don't like to go to the stimulus first. So I wouldn't suggest going to this question and the question stimulus reading everything and then going to the question, as I would usually say, go to the question stem first. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to go to question 34 and what's going to help us today. And this is a strategy that I've talked about in other videos as well is to follow keywords. Okay. Keywords are going to help us to reduce the amount of work needed to actually solve a problem. Okay. So going to the question stem, which one of the following features present in the brush turkey embryo or egg is least likely to specifically suit the bird to its unusual incubation environment or parenting approach? Okay. So I'm going to write down some keywords in, in a second. Now, before we do that, we should also look at the answer options and we can see that the answer options are talking about specific features, egg tooth, thin eggshell, large feet suitable for digging, uh, relatively large um, yolk supply compared to other birds. Okay. So some words that you might look for, uh, things like, um, yeah, let's just, let's make it easy. I reckon it should be pretty easy to find things like egg tooth. Okay. Should be pretty easy to find egg tooth. Maybe something to do with a thin eggshell, large feet. And another thing is maybe large yolk. Okay. Now I'm writing these keywords, um, kind of assuming that I've looked at this question for, for the very first time. I know some of these keywords won't come up. However, most of these do. Okay. So the egg tooth, and there is also reference to a thin eggshell and also large feet that helps us to narrow down to specific paragraphs. Okay. So there are actually specific paragraphs. Now, if you look at the stimulus, there's five paragraphs with the, um, the keywords that I've just typed over there that narrows it down to the last three. Now you might think, oh yeah, that's not a big deal, but it reduces the amount of stuff that we're going to read to potentially 204 words. Okay. If you're going to read those. Okay. And that takes a little bit less than a minute. I think it's about 50 seconds or something, which is already an improvement. Now what's interesting though, is if you were to go through this question in a systematic way, okay, which is just going through the options one by one. And I talk about this strategy a lot in my videos. Um, especially with this type of question where it's wordy, right? You really don't have much of a choice except to just go from, you know, A, B, C, and D just go straight through it. In my opinion, if you did that, the first thing or the first option you're going to assess is the egg tooth. Okay. And if you looked for, uh, some text around the egg tooth, you're going to find this, hopefully this works. There we go. All right. So this is from the stimulus. Um, I believe it's, uh, I'll just double check. Where is that? That is in the second last paragraph. Okay. So if you're lucky 
and you're going through this process of um, you know you're going through this process of following keywords um, and you've you've looked at egg tooth and you found this particular line what's interesting is this is enough for us to solve the problem so the brush turkey embryo like that of other birds this is important because the important thing about the question and I should put this as one of the keywords now if you think about it let's go back here this is from the question stem unusual so if you paid attention to the word unusual, the brush turkey embryo, like that of other birds, has an egg tooth. So what this is saying is an egg tooth is not unusual for a bird to have, right? Like that of other birds. The question was asking which of the options is least likely to specifically suit this unusual bird. So that's why this is our answer. The egg tooth is our answer. All right, so A is our answer, egg tooth. Now, that is 13 words, and I think it takes about three seconds roughly, okay, to read. So there is a potential that you could go from reading 384 words, spending about a minute and a half, um, before you even get to the question, okay, compared to, if you went to the question stem first and try to digest what the question was asking and know that it's looking for something not unusual, if you think about it, right? Because it said the least likely to specifically suit this bird, right? You would find that this sentence found in the stimulus is enough to answer that. Okay, so it could take you three seconds to uh, of reading compared to one and a half minutes of reading. And this type of strategy of using keywords is how you can solve things quickly, okay, without having to read absolutely everything. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Um, and if you liked my approach, please like and subscribe. And if you want more videos like this, you can also check out my Teachable uh, courses and I'll put a link in the description. All right, thanks guys.